Hi, traveling peoples! We're back here in Sustainable Living by Tina, another unit of her. And, kung mapapansin nyo, it's a bit cloudy today. So, another ambiance, another perspective of Makati. Tomorrow, we will be meeting her and we will film what a day in her life looks like. So, I hope you're also excited taking a peek of the life of Tina, Miss Tin, who is the owner of Sustainable Living by Tina, an Airbnb which promotes a nice staycation and keeping in mind sustainability as well. So, see you! Hi, traveling people! So, we are here now in the building of Miss Tin. So, we welcome natin siya and Let's start kung ano yung day niya. Hi, traveling people! Join me for coffee! Hi! This is one of the Jolly Jeeps that I like buying food from. Diba ate, wala akong plastic parate? Yeah! Oh, parate plastic. Parating may dalang Tupperware. <laughs> what's what's your number? Number 18. Jolly Jeep 30. Oh, don't forget Jolly Jeep 18. Dito na kayo kumain. Thank you, sir. It's just they know now what I want to order. What do you want? Iced Americano. I'll meet you outside here. Okay, boy. What's the size of your ice cream? Just the medium. Just the red. So I come here every morning to have coffee. I never get takeout coffee because I really want to eliminate all the plastic and waste that I contribute to the earth. So if you sit down and have your coffee, you get it in a cup and you don't really consume any plastic. So and it's also a time for me to just sit down with myself uh, early in the morning, um, read the news. I read uh, news on my phone and I just, yeah, I think about, okay, it's another day, uh, fresh start. Uh, it's a form of like self, uh, self meditation in the morning. So I'm here in Orion Mart. You can find this in Bautista Street. It's just a family grocery. If you can see, it's a family grocery. And I bought, I bought salad greens, but it shouldn't be in plastic, diba right, kuya? <laughs> shouldn't be in plastic, but. Anyways, I will reuse the plastic. Okay, so in this area. But I like to go to family groceries to help the local businessmen, and that is part of sustainability. So everybody, we're here in Metropole. This is where I have all the laundry in Sustainable Living by Tina done. Ay nako, shy sila, but. You know, they're one of the best laundry companies. You look for them. Metropole, under the company We Clean. Uh, it's owned by a group of Spanish guys who are really good people. So if you are not able to do laundry at home, I suggest that you visit any Metropole branch. They're a good laundry company. So this is how I live and the way I decorated my place was that I made sure that everything that I placed in the unit was either secondhand or made in the Philippines. So this sofa here, this is a secondhand sofa and this table was made in Mabalakat, Pampanga, so made in the Philippines, this is secondhand. Um, this one is made in the Philippines as well. This is secondhand. I got this from my Lola. 
and you know everything else that I have here is second hand and made in the Philippines and I want to show you also that they actually have similar things um, as the things that I have in my listings so I also use um, the biodegradable dishwashing sponge from Mr. Koala and as you can see here I also use the Econes trash liners um, which are biodegradable because they're made from cassava bags and I drink a lot of water I drink a lot a lot of water so I have the IVO filter so that I don't need to buy water and I don't consume any plastic water bottles so I just fill up my water containers with water because I drink a lot of water really so yeah I make sure that I really follow all my um, sustainable house rules in my listings even here at home so I'm not a phony <laughs> I save all the paper bags that I get from deliveries or when I buy grocery because I want to reuse them. I also save all the ribbons and stuff from gifts so that I can reuse them for my own gifts. So I always reuse. <laughs> Sometimes when I don't necessarily have to go to the office and I can work remotely, sometimes I work from the Rockwell Club because it's uh, peaceful there and I like the food. <laughs> Hi, so I'm actually working remotely here in the Rockwell Club. For me, um, although it's cheaper to work at home and it's more relaxed actually, it's nice to be in a place without walls so that I can be more creative and I can be more um, innovative in the way that I think. So I like to go outdoors as well. That way I can smell fresh Makati air. But this is the best option for me. So I work at Draper Startup House Manila which is located on P. Burgo Street in Poblacion, Makati. And one of the projects that I'm working on with my general manager is the Sky Lounge Poblacion. It's essentially our bar here at the Draper Hotel which you can find on the 7th floor. So we open this up at 5pm from Wednesdays to Saturdays. And we serve good food, we serve cheap beer, we serve good wines, and we have pop-ups like food pop-ups like Gatong QC, and we'll have more food to come. So if you don't know where to go, happy hour every Wednesday to Saturday, just come meet me here in the Sky Lounge, located on the seventh floor of Draper Startup House, Manila. See you here! So right now we're here in the sky loft of Draper Startup House Manila. 
um, this is where you can co-work so if you want to get out of your office or your house and you want to work outside this is a perfect place for you to work you will find me here almost every day I co-work with our co-working guests as well and if you see there's actually a stage here so we rent out this whole place for events last night we had the popular monthly BBB of Draper Startup House Manila which is our Bitcoin beer and beer stories bit stories event and Heineken was a sponsor and yeah so we have events here for different types of companies and I invite you to book an event with me this is the Skyloft Cafe so if you co-work here or you have your events here Walter and Danielle, they're part of the F&B team, they can take care of you. This is a good place to order your coffee. It's a good place to have beers after work or during work. And we have really good silog meals. We also have classic breakfast and other snacks like nachos and cheese sticks. So this is Walter and this Hi. is Danielle. You'll find them here in the Skyloft Cafe in Draper Startup House, Manila. You'll find me eating here also and drinking drinking beer more than eating. <laughs> Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm gonna say.